the city of Ivrea is preparing itself for a crazy battle this February. Yes, um, based on an age-old myth of fighting of tyranny, these Italians reenact the battle with oranges. Uh, with us today is Dinesh. <laughs> Dinesh is a committed orange thrower and uh, well, he can probably tell us more about the oranges of this uh, festival. Uh, Dinesh, could you give us a visual explanation of what this looks like? The city turns in a big battlefield where everywhere is full of oranges. And, and walking is quite difficult because the ground is covered with, with smashed oranges. And the battle is settled this way. Well, we have nine teams divided in the main squares of the historic center of Ivrea that fight, that throw oranges against uh, more or less 50 carriages pulled by horses that represent the, the army of the city during the, during the revolution. And how did you get involved with this festival? I grew up in this city and it sounds strange but here everybody is used to, to this carnival and, and for us it's completely normal. And why do you use oranges as ammunition? I've heard that is because the, um, the juice of the orange uh, wants to represent the blood that the people lost, uh, that the citizens of, of uh, Ivrea lost during the, during the revolution. How can we attend or participate in this festival? If you would like to, to, to join the real, the real fight, uh, you, can, uh, you can join one of the, of the nine teams, the one you like the most. There are no rules about this. And, and well, you will, you will have the best carnival ever, I think. Thanks, Dinesh. And if you guys at home want to know more about this festival and the story behind it, check out interconnection.com.